Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, thanks. Uh, that was a good, no, I, I played well today, obviously, and, and I had to, you know, to, to beat a guy like that. Um, I think it helped playing him earlier this year, you know, I had a little bit of an idea, but he's having such a good year, you know, any, at any time, you know, he uh, come up with the goods, and but today I was able to kind of stay on him a little bit and, and dictate a lot of points and fortunate enough to get through. And last game, four aces. Yeah, I don't. I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, maybe since a junior, so uh, you know that felt good. But I was able to get there, over them there at the end, and uh, you know close it out comfortably. If you had to switch forehand with anyone, who would it be? Uh, do I have to switch? Yeah. Uh, probably Rafa. <laughs> I just like a lefty version of it. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, Thomas Bergisch, through to the final in Stockholm Open, but not the way you wanted to win. Oh, definitely not. I mean, it's not not the way that uh, you want to finish the tennis match. But uh, it's a sport, and it's unfortunate that this this also happens. But uh, you know, I just wish all the best to Marcos. He's a great guy and good friend. So hope he's going to be back soon and strong. And uh, you know, the outcome is good. I just went through the final and uh, there is still one more match to go. Jack Sok in the final tomorrow, you have a tough battle last week in Shanghai. Yes, it's been a tough battle and uh, I won that, so I'm expecting a very tough revenge from him. So I'm just going to put myself ready and uh, strong. I'm feeling good, so looking forward for the final. You always have had a very strong forehand, but do, you, do I see right if you have a little more top spin and you are more steady on your forehand than before? Uh, yeah, that could be could be a good point. I mean, I'm uh, I'm definitely trying to to keep the aggression on the forehand, but still adding some more some more control and also with the spin you can you can get a little more variations into your game. So yes, that's that's a part of the improvements that I've done for this year, and uh, I'm glad that it that it's working pretty well. Hello, Nicholas. Hey, Jack. How are you? My name is Jack Sock here. I'm uh, tuning in here in the, stock, the IF Stockholm Open, interviewing a uh, fellow doubles partner here, Nicholas Monroe from Kansas City, just like me. Uh, Nicholas, you know, it's been, a, it's been a long week. You know, we started late, uh, but how do you feel like you're playing and, and uh, how are you enjoying the city here in Stockholm? Uh, well, it's been a longer week for you. Uh, you're in the finals of singles and the finals of doubles, so most importantly, uh, yeah, you're playing great and want you to take the title here. And then, uh, but yeah, I love coming to Stockholm, love Sweden. They do a great job here at the tournaments, and uh, and I think we both uh, enjoy this country and we'll be back. I, yeah, I would have to agree. Back for many years. Um, you know, we play Venus Pavic tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a tough match. They've won a few matches. It's uh, it's been a, it's been a good week for us. But uh, how are you feeling about tomorrow against those uh, two tough opponents? Yeah, they're very good. Uh, Venus played college tennis, and I did as well. I played with Mate about a month ago. So yeah, they're a tough team, and uh, yeah, it'll be a tough match. So we got to bring our best. Um, last question: uh, We had kind of a theme song for the week. It's called uh, "Slow Motion" by Trey Songs. Would you mind giving us a quick preview of a dance move that we've been doing all week? Are we gonna play the song, or am I just doing the dance? No, move? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Right, thanks. thanks.